Twitter. Okay. Yes. So we, we can record these innovations on API therapy. So again, back. So we have the fresh pollen innovations, then fresh frozen bee pollen. Then here is fresh frozen bee bread. Sorry for this mistake here. So you just put mm. the bee bread into the freezer. We discussed. Okay, fresh frozen bee bread. Pollen for api cosmetics as source of natural pigments. Look here. So we did in one of my courses here in Romania. You take different kinds of pollens, you solve it in water. You can put also very small amounts of oil too. You have different colors. And like the cosmeticians like, or like the painters, it's, here is like body painting. So here I had the small lesions. So uh, uh, you can make a mixture of these colors, the color which is very close to the color of the skin, as close as possible, then you cover it. And it will look something like this. It's not perfect, but you'll kind of um, block this uh, thing. Or like I have here another very small mole, I could also put here on top some some pollen colors, which will block the, the bad thing, but also it will give to the skin vitamins, carbohydrates and so on. Faster extraction of active substance from propolis. So classically it's water, alcohol and oil, like water extract of propolis, alcohol extract of propolis, oil propolis extract. And one of the good oils, it's just olive oil, but you can use any kind of vegetal oil, which is good quality, which is raw, is fresh, is uh, um, virgin oil, yeah? Okay, so uh, in the solvents, then uh, what I told you before, raw propolis here, you can chew it after you suck it for about one hour with pollen, it's one method, or with seeds. And when you chew together this with the seeds, the cellulose from the seeds and the fats from the seeds, oily seeds, will break down the fats from propolis, the beeswax, and then the propolis will dissolve in the mouth in less than one minute. So it's even better than ultrasonication, which is 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Bivenon for mesotherapy and api aesthetics. I know a lady from uh, Uruguay, Dr. Mayra Texeira. She presented us uh, in one of our conferences, very, very good ways to get beauty with B venom or honey or other B products, but here is B venom, just B venom solution. You put it in very, very small droplets on the skin of the forehead in this case. Then you use a special device which is called meso roller. So you just roll on the skin and then this will uh, press on the this uh, small amount of uh, venom to go into the skin. The meso rollers has like hundreds of very, very, very teeny needles very small, very soft needles. So the venom will penetrate into the skin. And there is the, uh, the method which is called api aesthetics or api cosmetics. It's a huge source of uh, beauty, of pleasure, of health, but also of money. So uh, one method is to train the cosmeticians from your area in api therapy and api cosmetics to get them on board. B products stored in syringes for fast use. So most of the people that they are storing the bee products in jars, but you can store them not only in jars, but also directly into the syringes. And remember that the syringes are sterile. They are highly appreciated as medicinal kind of devices. And you can, if you put royal jelly in a jar, maybe good, but maybe the jar is not clean. It's not very soft, but you can put it directly into the syringes, royal jelly or honey, or propolis extracts, whatever. You can put directly in the syringe, and then you need this special cap, uh, caps to block the syringe. Here is blocked from the other side, and you keep a medicinal product, good quality, uh, clear dose. You have a very clear dose here that uh, you can uh, uh, apply the dose because you know exactly how much is the amount inside. And this one, you can take under the tongue, okay? Or you can apply on a wound like this one. You apply honey and propolis on the wounds or you can inject it like here, honey and propolis in the wound. Okay, another uh, method that we, we spoke at the very beginning at our conference about microfiltration of Bihai products instead of gamma irradiation. And you know, Manuka honey is irradiated and through irradiation, you get rid of bacteria, but also you create in the honey 
a lot of free radicals. And this is not very good. The other option is microfiltration. So you just dilute the product like honey, for example, with physiological serum, saline solution. You dilute to 5%, 10%, 20%, 50%. 50%. Uh, usually 50% is already very good. And then you go through the filter, microfilter. And you can do the same for propolis, for bee pollen, but the pollen here, here is a trick. Pollen will not go through the filter, so you need to position the syringe, not like this downwards, but upwards. And the pollen will come here near the, the piston. And the pollen soup, if you want, the extract, the uh, minerals will go through the filters. You cannot get so much from pollen in microfiltration. But with B venom, it goes well. And with the, the little royal gel, it's also, you can go through the syringe, but it should be a very, very uh, small syringe, like one ml. Sorry. <coughs> OK. Um, queen cell with queen larva and or royal jelly in honey. So we know that most of the people, they are collecting royal jelly, which is fine. But the queen cells or queen larva uh, has other substances. And this is the method from Melinda Tafalvi, a beekeeper in Romania. She is doing uh, queen breeding. And she came to one of my courses in Romania. And we discussed about the way to preserve the royal jelly and the queen inside the cell uh, better and uh, not to extract it like classically. So just put it in a jar like this one with acacia honey. And you have here at least three protections from the jar, from the glass, from the honey, and from the beeswax of the queen cell here, which protects inside the royal jelly and the larva. If you have larva, you put it in freezer. If you don't have larva, you took out before the larva, then you can keep it at room temperature. Intramuscular honey injection. There is a famous doctor in Germany at uh, Bayern, Bayern München, uh, Dr. Wolfstrat, which uses for many years for the sport people honey injections to recover the sport people faster. So and there are many other applications of honey and pollen, royal jelly to sport people. So if you have any good sport people in your city, in your area, you can also get a lot of um, good results and a lot of advertising because once a sport guy says, oh, I've got cured by honey from this beekeeper, you get a huge advertising. Intravenous honey injection. So you can inject honey also in the vein, not only in the muscles. And here a small uh, uh, introduction. We know that in all hospitals all over the world, when the patient comes in a, with an emergency, they inject the doctor's glucose, which is only one subst substance. It is very good as energy source, but it's just one substance. In honey, we have much more substances. You see here, thousands of different substances, which are useful for our cells. We need also minerals, we need polyphenols, we need vitamins, and so on and so on. So practically when you do the uh, uh, glucose in the hospital, it's only one molecule, but this one, it's thousands of different molecules. So the efficacy, it's clear, it's logical, it's much more for honey. But, uh, and you see here, Professor Mamdouh Abdul Rahman from Egypt, he's the, the world leader in honey injection, intravenous honey injection. He reinvented, rediscovered this method. This method was used a lot in Russia after the Second World War, and then in Germany in the 80 years, 1950, 55, for many patients. And then pharma industry came, and uh, allopathic medicine came, and this method went into uh, forgotten method. But uh, Professor Mamdouh, which is a, a professor of pediatry in Ayn Shams University in Cairo, he restarted this a couple of years ago and he made over 1,500 such injections, injections to the patients. And there are many interesting good benefits. You see here in, in, during injection, here is the yellow part, which is heavier, is the honey. And here is the blood because when, when you do an, an injection, you must first be sure that you are with the needle in the vein. So you, you pull a bit the piston here. So you see that you are in the vein, then you can do the injection. This is just to show how it works because normally you do a more dilution of the honey. You do like 2%, 5%, 10%. Uh, Dr. Mamdouh, uh, Professor Mamdouh used 
uh, even 20% of honey in the physiological serum and they inject it, okay? Also intravenous B venom injection. B venom can be applied not only as B stings, as we, all of us we know, but there are uh, solutions of B venom, uh, like very diluted B venom solutions, and you can do, do also in the veins. And this is for people having, for example, heart attack, blood clots, like thrombosis, like in COVID-19, this thrombosis which may come. And under medical coordination, it can be done. But it's a bit dangerous because the venom may, uh, may increase the hemorrhage if the capillaries are too weak. So you need to decide according to the uh, individual needs of the patient and problems of the patient. But it's also a good anti-cancer method. Okay, now here is the beehive air therapy we discussed a bit. All beehive products have essential oils, have this volatile, these aromatic components. We smell them and we can inhale them. And uh, the most important are propolis and beeswax. It was a study done in Germany, in Dresden. And uh, they found out that uh, there are about 55 mm -hmm. volatile molecules they found in uh, their study, which are coming to the air from the beehive. And uh, there are now, uh, there are antiviral substances here, which you can find and so on and so on. Here is again, uh, Heinrich Hüttner from Austria, I showed you. Before and here is the schema of the device. Uh, in Austria, they started by collecting the air from the bottom of the hive. Now uh, we recommend also in Germany from the upper part of the hive because the warm air comes easier upwards uh, and you need to respect certain rules, of course. Okay, so uh, hay fever, it's one of the most easiest um, cure with beehive air. Uh, it's like you need six sessions with beehive air, maybe 10 maximum. And most of the people, they get rid of hay fever, which is allergy caused hay fever usually. Many people with asthma uh, can get better, bronchitis. This is a device from Hans Musch in Germany. He treated hundreds, I believe even thousands of people came to his center uh, with beehive air therapy with this kind of device. And you see here, this guy is a nurse in a, 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 a hospital and he got asthma from since childhood and he got cured of his asthma with beehive air. Uh, so there are many, many ways to do it. This is in Romania with a much larger system to get out the air from the hive. Here it was an idea from a French guy, James Poulin, which said that we need to take out the air with a ventilator which is outside of the colony, not on top of the colony, because this ventilator makes noises. So it may disturb the bees. So it is this possibility, like we have here in Romania, the ventilator is outside of the beehive. It's like here, the ventilator. And uh, the newest, the most modern, the uh, medically approved system in Germany now is with this system, which is larger. It's a combination between Hans Musch and the Romanian method with the pyramid. And uh, the, this ventilator is really the best. It's a uh, uh, ventilator used also in aeronautical industry. And you get the air from the hive, very soft. And then this tube has certain uh, uh, technical uh, thing, which allows the air to come warm and goes well warm to the patient. So here inside the bee colony, you have about 30, 35 degrees Celsius in the center. The human body has 37 degrees Celsius, more or less in the center. So the idea is to get warm air and to come warm to the lungs, not to cool it outside. And the former systems, when the, it was not heating of the tubes, like in Hans Musch here, the, the tube is not heated. So they saw that after some time, the water condensed on the tube and it can attract mold and it's, it's not good. So this is really the best system which exists nowadays, okay? And you saw also already uh, Simon and Ruth, they have this system at their place in Queensland. Okay, so you see also one lady. Oh, by the way, this lady was also from Australia. She came yeah. in one of the summers, yes. So see the, the device and you can treat a lot of these propolizers for a better breathing. There are two big uh, types of propolizer in Italy, like this one is for the rooms and you propolize the air in the room. 
and they found that in the kindergarten, the children are not having any more flu or colds like normal children in normal kindergarten if they have a, such a device in the room because it, this one propolizes the air and also blocks the bacteria and the viruses in the air. So it's sanitizing the air. And they very, very good. I have it also in my car. You, you can use in the car. Some people, they, they smoke. I'm not smoking. It's just for the didactical purpose, this photo. So you put it on this, um, how do you call this? Um, when you Light. burn cigarette, light. cigarette lighter lighter right lighter. so in this part of the car you put the propolis uh, device so this one you put here inside this uh, lighter for the cigarettes and here you have in the device this electrical part which hit exactly propolis to 80 82 degrees celsius not more because more than uh, 95 100 degrees celsius propolis can become toxic but if it's under 85, then propolis will become liquid in this container and then it will vaporize. So it will practically make the car, the habitacle of the car, the room of the car will be uh, uh, very clean. It will block the toxins from the, the motor of the car or from outside. And it will become like a sauna if you want. It's a, like a propolis sauna, but at the car temperature, if you want. And it's a very, very good healing system. And I make a, a parenthesis here. I remember once I traveled from Toronto to Montreal with my friends in a car. And when I started the trip, I was cold. I was having running nose. And my friends have had this system. And at the end of the trip, like after four hours, I arrived to Montreal, I was cured. So no more uh, running nose. Uh, just because I stayed in the car and the car was propolized inside. So it's a very, very good device. It costs about 90 euro and it's very, very <coughs> good. And you can buy the device plus this um, uh, oh. doses and then uh, you can have it. It's really ex excellent. Other method nebulizations with honey and propolis, just nebulization. And you have here the, the recipe from Dr. Doinako Jokara from Romania, honey, propolis, saline solution. Propolis tincture 10 drops, it's about also half a milliliter of a solution. And you combine everything and then you can uh, do as nebulizer. Propolis team from Slovenia is this device. It's like the Italian one. We also temperature is 80, 82 degrees Celsius. The advantage is that you can put more propolis here and then uh, the, the room becomes uh, faster propolized. But you have some mess here because you have some uh, beeswax, uh, uh, some propolis, which is kind of uh, becoming like a glue. Uh, and uh, it's a bit difficult to clean. But it's also a very good method also for the breathing. Propolis sauna mini room method, Alina Varadi from Romania. So you can put in a small room, like uh, with the hexagonal room, like you see here, the room, the people inside the room, the door. So a small room like this one, and you can put in every corner one propolizer, like from Slovenia or from Italy. And practically, it will be like a sauna inside, propolis sauna. And the people can breathe normally or with the, the masks if they want more intensive. So this is also a great, great idea for the people. You should not stay too much, too long here. Some people, they may get too strong effect from a propolis. So about 10, 15 minutes is okay. Propolis on surgical facial masks, another method. We all are under COVID-19 times. So we, you can put not only the, this mask, but also you can put inside the mask propolis. And because propolis is antiviral, antibacterial, and has nice aroma, so you can put it there. And there are other methods too, like you can put even raw propolis here in a sachet, in a plastic bag with uh, holes. Uh, you, you can... Uh, uh, glue it like here inside the, the mask and you'll have all the day uh, propolis aroma. Integrative medicine concepts for an integrative apitherapy. This is generally speaking that in apitherapy we need to use all behind products if we want to heal very fast, faster than when we use only honey or only bee bread or only propolis. So ideal is to have like a cocktail, a mixture of all these products and methods um, to treat faster the people. Human bee house, <laughs> it's another concept. This is from Romania and Simon and Ruth, they, they saw our, uh, our house. 
here is the big house, here is the human house. So here at the top level we have uh, beehives and also uh, in the garden. And here it looks like the entrances to the house. So it's very practical because here I have the treatment room and when I need fresh products, I just go into the other room, I get the fresh product and I, then I give it to the patient. Okay. Uh, future innovations in apitherapy which are possible to do is monopollens for mono diseases. Like uh, uh, we saw there are different pollens with different tastes, uh, different tastes, different compositions, different active components, substances, which are better for certain substances, for certain cells. So in the future, uh, like we started already in Romania, we have about uh, 10 different monopollens, monocolors, monopollens which are used uh, for certain diseases. Another very, very interesting uh, idea is to use shock freezing or cryopreservation of drone larvae, queen embryos and queen larvae. It's like the same system like with the spermatozoids for human applications or animal applications uh, because it will keep the drone larvae or the queen larvae uh, practically unchanged, still alive if we do the shock freezing, very fast freezing, which does not allow the water to become crystals, like ice, okay? Uh, okay, more information on this topic, you can go to, to my website, to, you can join the International Federation of Apitherapy, apitera.org. As a member of the Federation, you have access to other extra information. Okay, good, this was the, the innovations part. <laughs> very, very fast. Not to bore you. Okay. Okay. Any questions still left? Yes. Yeah, I have a question. With the uh, microfilled honey and, and the glucose, um, how. how so, sorry, can uh, you repeat, Simon? The yeah. micro filtered honey, the, well, honey and glucose yes. was, being, was um, intravenously injected. So this would have to be micro-filtered first? Yes. And if it's micro-filtered, how long can micro-filtered honey be held and where would, would, would that have to be uh, kept in the fridge or frozen or be fresh? Yes. Uh, the micro-filtration should be done just immediately before injection. Okay? So this is the best. Uh, in Germany, there is a laboratory. They take the honey they make the microfiltration, they put in solutions like in uh, uh, tubes of um, containers of 10 ml. And this is a solution of honey microfilter, then they, then they give it to the therapists and they, they do injections. But uh, like with all B products, with all things, ideally is to do, you receive from the doctor. The doctor says uh, to you, I need tomorrow microfiltered honey, this amount. And then you do the microfiltration, let's say one hour before, and then you give it to the, to the to, you send it to the doctor to the hospital. Yeah. Yes. And uh, uh, if you send me an email, I can put you in touch. There is a, a German laboratory who is doing this for several years, at least five years, six years. They do this microfiltered honey for uh, naturopathic doctors. So. But the, the method is very, very simple, as I told you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Other questions? Okay. Um, the, the propolis, the in-car propolis filter, um, what do you, do, do you have to buy the capsules that are pre-made for that or that can be filled with a local propolis tincture? You, you mean propolis tincture in the syringes? I, I didn't understand. The, yeah. Okay. Uh, the the in-car propolis filter that uh, the, the the like the in-car aromatherapy propolis. Ah, in the cars. In the cars. Yeah. Yes. So so for propolis in the cars, what, what was the question? Um, what is the cartridge that that you have to use for it? Can you can you refill the cartridge yourself with local? Propolis? Yes. 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 You can refill it. Uh, but uh, the, the cartridge normally has the refined propolis from Italy, so they separate the wax and it's a really good quality uh, propolis. So for the yeah. normal people, normal customers, 
don't lose your time with uh, with uh, putting your own propolis. But for your own use, if you have a very good quality propolis, you can refill the cartridge, but before you must clean it because some of the old propolis stains there. So you must clean it very, very well. It's like residues from the propolis. So you must clean it very well. And then you can put raw propolis, but attention, do not fill completely to the top because uh, having wax inside, wax dilates, and then the propolis will, will uh, go out and it will go into the electrical part of the device and it will jam the electrical. Device. So you should put only half. So you refill the cartridge only half. And okay. next, next question is, can you, can you possibly introduce us to, um, and I, I, I don't expect you to give away your contacts and all the rest of it, but you've been incredibly insightful and helpful so far with the people who have, have, have written so much documentation and you've kind of mentioned a lot of names that I've noted down, but, um, is there a company that we can get in touch with about possibly importing um, those in-car propolis uh, uh, diffusers and, and also the, the cartridges as well? Yes, Simon, uh, you know about this? Uh, yeah, the, another contact in, in France, I can pass that on to you. Right, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you can buy these little cartridges. Yes, you separately, yes. These ones you can buy in a pack of 10, I think they are. Yes. Well, yes and you yes. can, uh, they're, very, they're very cheap and you can use your own once you've got the cartridge. I try our own and I, one day I was in, it was in my car and one day I was like, what, what's the smell? What's the smell? I can't find the smell. And then, oh, it's the poppers. And then I get, I a bit of addicted to it. It's, it's, it smells so good. Yeah, it smell is very nice. Yes, yeah, so it's just very simple stuff. Yeah. Yes, uh, about what you said, uh, Ruth, before, uh, there is another aspect very interesting. Uh, as I said, I have this device also in my car. And sometimes when I drive my car very late in the night, uh, normally when you drive late in the night, you get tired a bit, you know? Like you, you start to become a bit sleepy, which is very dangerous. And I noticed when I used this device, I was like awakened, like I took five coffees. <laughs> so oh. I've got more oxygen and I felt my brain was very, very good. So like not anymore sleepy. And uh, this is very interesting for the people having COVID-19. Because if you look to the literature, you'll see that most of them, they say the level of oxygen in the blood goes down. They may have some uh, headaches and uh, many problems related to the oxygen. But with this kind of device from Italy, you get bronchodilatation. The alveoli is not so much with liquids there. So the oxygen can go easier into the blood. So this may be also, it looks like funny, weird, but it may be a good device for the people having COVID-19 when they travel by car. And of course, when they have, uh, they are at home in their bedrooms, they can use the other devices. Yes. Okay. Other questions or comments? Okay. Um, well, uh, I'm just trying to think the, there was so much content there. I mean, you have to be pretty well certified to be giving intravenous injections, don't you? You don't really want to be going and injecting stuff into people and yourself no, really no, no no yes you need you need doctors and uh, simon and ruth they are in contact with a clinic uh, not very far away from their place uh, the, this german uh, couple and maybe they will uh, organize happy therapy courses for the doctors when i'll come to australia and then uh, uh, they would be able to do the honey injections fantastic so, barbara in new south wales Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Hello? in New South Wales, yes, yes. Uh, you, yes, the Barbara, yes, Barbara. Uh, so, yes, right, right. But how far is from your home? How many hours? Uh, I need two hours. Okay. Three yes. hours. Yes, right. yes. In Germany, uh, not only the doctors can do injections, uh, also high practicers, which are naturopathic doctors. They can also do injections with honey. But you need to be certified, of course. It's not an easy method.
Mm -hmm. Yes. Other questions, maybe from Kim. Kim, are you here with us? We, you can unblock. Uh, yeah, okay, unmute. Kim, if uh, she's around. No, okay. Good. Oh, oh, I can. oh yeah. Okay, Kim. Uh, any questions from you, Kim? No, no, not at the moment. It's fascinating, okay. though. Okay. Okay. Gary, you have a question? Uh, I, I haven't a question, but I have an observation is that um, I've been using um, propolis um, for a long time, propolis, propolis teacher. And uh, I used to buy it from a, I've been buying it from a um, New Zealand manufacturer called Convita. Yes. And um, I, being a redhead, I get the, um, skin um, cancers cut out and uh, I come back from the doctor with the stitches in my hand or arm. I pull the dressing off. I put the propolis tincture on, heal very quickly. Every time I get a cut, I put the propolis tincture on. The healing is amazing. I, I, I really got to say it. I've been doing it for years and it's wonderful. Yes. I fully endorse what you say um, uh, very well, Gary. Uh, myself, I'm using for my own body. I get a lot of cuts when I work in my garden and it's, yes. uh, there is nothing better than propolis for this. And the yeah. scientific explanation is that uh, high, uh, propolis has a lot of substances which are cicatrizing. They increase oh. the production of collagen. They are anti-hemorrhagic, so it increases the, the strength of the capillaries too. And propolis is very good for the regeneration of the skin, but yes. for the internal skins of our body, like mucosa, like internal skin in the lungs, is yeah. only respiratory mucosa. Digestive uh, skin inside is like digestive mucosa. So for all these mucosas, propolis is also a very good healer. When, yeah. the, when the wound is deep inside the body, like deeper than the skin, then honey is very good or a combination of honey and propolis. Because mm. honey has other substances, which helps the regeneration of the mucopolysaccharides, which is a group of substances present in the connective tissue, which are the, the main structure of the connective tissue. So a combination of honey and propolis, if it's deep only honey, even only propolis you can use for the deep wounds, but the healing is not so nice when it's deep wound, uh, uh, as when you use also honey. So mm. depending on the wound, you can use one or, or the other one. Mm. Yes, very good. Yes, Jack? The, so just, I just, look, uh, jelly bush or manuka honey is incredibly, um, is, is touted as, as one of the most medicinally beneficial things for that. And, and Ruth and Simon are doing a great job here in Brisbane and Australia and promoting clean and um, you know, pure medicinal honey. When it comes to what you're saying about deep wound healing, is is any honey useful in that instance, or is it going to really be more beneficial to be using? Uh, it? Um, can you please repeat the question? Uh, um, uh, is is uh, just to cut it short? Is um, manuka honey? far more beneficial than just a clean raw honey in deep wound healing or can we recommend people still use a raw honey if they don't have the budget to go into it okay okay so there are many studies on the different types of honeys from different flowers and there are some flowers which are giving more antibacterial substances than other ones and jelly bush honey manuka honey are very good antibacterial scientifically proven also, we have in Europe, chestnut honey, it's also very good antibacterial. Uh, thyme honey, lavender honey, eucalyptus honey, very strong antibacterial. Um, but for you as a normal beekeeper, let's say you don't have enough jelly bush honey and it's something uh, emergency uh, to do, then you can get a regular honey, a floral honey, which is good, is fresh. And then uh, because this honey has not enough antibacterial substances inside, you can complete uh, these substances by adding propolis. So this is the best, the easiest way. Uh, you take just normal honey, 
and you put five to 10% propolis extract inside. And if you want to have very powerful uh, uh, antibacterial uh, uh, power, you can add also a few drops of essential oils, like thyme oil, okay? So, but you need some work to do, you need preparation, you need uh, approvals, officials, and so on and so on. This may take some, uh, some time. But for the practical fast applications, yes, you can do it too. Okay, so uh, for the propolis tincture, uh, it's not a good idea to put alcohol because alcohol may burn a bit, even if it's diluted in honey. So you need to, uh, to evaporate the alcohol first, and then you have like soft propolis extract, creamy, and then you mix it well in honey. Yes, uh, Simon? Simon? Uh, you mentioned that in, with the bee bread, uh, the substance of telomase in, in pollen. Yes. So you need to explain a little bit more about that because our, obviously our telomeres make, make us live longer. <laughs> okay, let, let me... Uh, Okay, can I mean, okay. Let me try to share screen with the, hmm. uh, let me, I have a, a PowerPoint on the, sorry. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, with the telomeres. Uh, okay. Okay, how do I do it? Like this, yes. Uh, maybe to understand the telomeres because it's really very, very interesting with the telomeres. Uh, Okay, then we have it here. Let me try my methodology. Just quickly, Gary, where are you based? Uh, I'm in Badrum on the Sunshine Coast. Yeah, fantastic. Great. So you're, you're very local to where Simon and Ruth are, so they'll be able to help you with that um, plantar fasciitis, eh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Bring a little package of base for the next meeting. <laughs> We've got to make the got to make the most out of that beautiful gate that you've built into your gorgeous bee precinct. So, you know, maybe maybe just open up the gate, welcoming welcome Gary in, and and 